Hello YouTube, today I'm going to show you how to build a glass back muffler for your off-road vehicle, for your tractor, four-wheeler, ATV, bulldozer, excavator, whatever. Before I show you how I do it, let me give you a little bit history. I built several mufflers in the past and most of them they were glass backs and uh, last time I built one for this bulldozer it's happened I saw this design at one of the auto store this is a side cut of the muffler and show this is the exhaust from the engine and when it enter the muffler it will circulate over here because this is act as a funnel and the speed of the gas over here gonna be slower than this one over here and that create circulation of the gas which is slow it down and then the gas will continue because all the glass back they like straight pipe you don't want any restriction that's why glass back it doesn't muffle the noise perfectly the idea behind it is just to remove the rumble that come from the engine and over here you will use uh, backing material fiberglass or stainless steel wool and that's what I used I used stainless steel wool however I was disappointed this didn't give me the result I was expecting I was expecting to get result better than glass back but it didn't so this time I'm gonna build 100% glass back when you build a glass back always you need to shoot for a 12 time the diameter of the pipe so if this pipe is one inch you need to go at least a 12 inch or if it's a tw a two centimeter then you need to go at least uh, 24 centimeter in length to get the most useful uh, sound reduction like I said this is not gonna quiet the engine uh, but it will remove the rumble which it make the noise better to hear than just straight pipe and it will also create some back pressure and all that to make the engine run better my idea I need this size of pipe over here which by the way this is just electrical conduit you could if you have electric chain friend they scrap a lot of these which most of these pieces is scrap I only have to buy this 90 because I don't have bender to bend this size this pipe it's measure 2 and a 16th the ID and 2 and 3 16th OD so and uh, I have limited space so I'm gonna go about 24 inch that's gonna give me the measurement I need for the glass back the way I'm gonna do it from one end or the top end where I have to weld the 90 and that's where the end cap gonna go I'm gonna go back one inch and then I'm gonna measure one inch till the end of it so I will have about a 22 section in the middle and then I need to uh, mark eight section because if you do the math on this one it's uh, 2 and 3 16 time pi which you're gonna get about 6.8 the outside circumference and I'm gonna divide that to eight uh, section because you you look for even number and you try to make those cuts uh, as small as possible to get more of them so the gas will do its circulation so each section gonna be about 0.859 or 0.86 in length which is about 55 64 if you don't want to do math or you have problem with math just take a tape measure and wrap it around like this and then divide this measurement into even number if your pipe is small try to go like four section or six eight ten twelve etc depend on the size of the pipe and then you take a chisel and uh, you punch these uh, cuts to give you that uh, glass back pipe I will show you this after uh, I give you this presentation and then the end cap for this muffler is going to be made from 16 gauge sheet metal I'm going to drill the center of it with the 2 and 3 16 hole saw 
and the outside I'm gonna cut it with a grinder until I have the outside dimension I want the outside pipe for this it's also a piece of scrap uh, galvanized pipe it came from uh, a vacuum tube the one they use inside the building in the old building where they put uh, you know a package and they send it somewhere else it measure four and three quarter inch the diameter of it so that's gonna cover the glass or the fiberglass and then I'm just gonna wrap the inside with fiberglass uh, I will show you this in the next step uh, it's very simple to make uh, and you get the best result the first muffler I built I took this uh, 90 and I cut it to prevent water rainwater from getting inside the muffler and the engine out of some like this I just cut the end of it and then I drill and welded some nuts inside so this bolt will uh, lock on the exhaust pipe my theory was when uh, the gas coming from the engine it will create vacuum or siphon and it will uh, get uh, clean air to go inside and get mixed with the gas and that's also will add to the muffling and etc but when I decelerate and accelerate the bulldozer a lot of time it shoot smoke from here and uh, I'm not gonna use this I'm gonna use this over here same size I'm gonna weld it at the end of the muffler and then I'm gonna cut it over here to give me the same uh, result over there to prevent water from get inside so this is very simple to make you could make it for your bulldozer a tractor four-wheeler etc and I will show you the next step